Hey y'all, it's KJ and today I'm going to be using Miss Lula Virgin Hair. She sent me three bundles and a closure of this curly hair. Um, it's a 4x4 four four closure and it's 14 inches and she sent me 14, 16, and 18 inch bundles. It is so beautiful. I went ahead and co-washed two bundles for her ponytail ahead of time. So stay tuned for this tutorial. So I started by parting her hair from ear to ear, pinning the back off, putting in a little ponytail, then parting her hair down the middle. Then I parted a little bit of hair on each side of that middle part. Now, my middle part braid was a little bit off, but that's okay, y'all. It's really okay. Um, just make sure to try to get it in the center as much as possible. And make sure that the hairstyle is as neat as possible because even if it's a little bit off, as long as it's neat, you'll kind of get away with it. But please try to make sure it's in the center as much as possible. So now I'm going ahead and I'm braiding the braids on the side. It's going to be two braids on each side of the center braid, which are a little bit bigger than the center braid. But I'm not adding any braiding hair to the side braids. You can if you want to or if you think you need to. I didn't feel like I needed to for the style that I was going for. I kind of wanted to do something that looked a little more natural, even though we all know that I'm using weave for the ponytail. I just wanted the front part to look more natural, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm doing a stitch braid or well both of the braids on the side of the center braid will be stitch braids but I'm just doing them you know with her real hair. And feel free to you know jazz it up however you like. So at this point, I'm going to be parting her hair out in triangular sections and putting them in ponytails. I'm using these white rubber bands that I got from my local beauty supply store. I decided to use these because I wanted the um, rubber band method part to stand out more. I didn't want to use black and then it blends in with her hair. I wanted something that was going to be a contrast with her hair. So you can either use like white or um, the colorful ones. Um, I just kind of freestyle with this, so you can pretty much freestyle, or you can follow the way that I did it. I honestly went along and just did it as I was going along, you know what I'm saying? I just kind of parted out triangular sections and just put it in a ponytail, and then I connected them afterwards. So, yeah. Um, I just freestyled, and then what I did was I made sure that I did the other side exactly the same way as I did this side. So it kind of makes it look like I did it on purpose. So, yeah.
at this point, I'm slicking her hair up into a ponytail. I did part out a few sections just to make sure that it's really sleek and smooth. And I went ahead and put the top part. Well, I went ahead and put the back part in the ponytail. Then I added the top part to the ponytail too. Making sure that I smoothed out those ends of the little ponytails that I did. And then putting that in a ponytail as well. And then adding the extra ponytail holder for stability. Then I went ahead and added some braiding hair to her ponytail. Just so that I can make the ponytail longer. And also so that I can... um tie off the ends of her hair without having any problems because because her hair is so blunt at the ends the ponytail holder would have slid off like I wouldn't have been able to attach the weave onto her natural hair because her hair is too straight so I went ahead and added braiding hair as well So now I'm just going to start sewing on her weave to her ponytail. Um, I have a tutorial on this already. If y'all want me to, I can link that um, in the video or in the description bar below. Just let me know in the comment section if y'all want me to link that video. But it's pretty simple. I just sewed through the ponytail and through the weave. And then I did a few... Um, knots at the bottom and then I sewed after I got to a certain point I sewed I wrapped a few times then I made another stitch then I'll wrap a few times and then I'll make another stitch and because of how thick and full I wanted this ponytail I went ahead and used two bundles if you don't want to use two bundles you don't have to um but I wanted to for the look that I was going for so yeah I also want to touch on this hair. Um, I really like the hair. It was really easy to manage. However, I can say if you're looking for the hair to be the same exact texture as it is um, when you purchase it, like how it comes in the bundle, it's not. The curl um, drops dramatically. So please keep that in mind when you are purchasing this hair. But other than that, that's my only complaint. I really do love this hair. At this point, I am finishing up the ponytail, and I'm just going to go ahead and put the thread through the ending part of the weft and tying it off as if it was like a sewing and I was tying it off. Then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. And then after that, I am going to be using some lot of body mousse. Y'all know that's my favorite mousse. I'm going to be using that to define the curls and detangle the hair. It really wasn't tangled at all, actually, but I'm just pretty much defining the curls and... So what I'm going to be doing right now is using a small piece of hair from underneath her ponytail to wrap around the base. And I just had her to hold the hair up so I wouldn't snag or pull on any other hair. But after I did this, I ended up deciding that I wanted the band to be a little thicker. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't have to do the band thicker. The band looked perfectly fine and really pretty like this. But I wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic with adding like the gold bands and stuff. Well, the gold string to her ponytail, so that's why I decided to do the band a little thicker. But it looks perfect and natural this way if you want to keep it this way instead. So anyway, after I do this with the pump it up spritz and the flat iron to keep it secured in place, I'm going to go ahead and add another piece of hair from the bottom to make it thicker. So you're going to see me doing that right now. I'm just going to repeat the exact same process that I did with the first piece, but I'm going to be wrapping it above that piece. So now I am done. I went ahead and added a few little jewels to her front braid and 
added the gold string to her ponytail, tied it off and cut off the ends. And this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. I love y'all. Bye.